Hi everyone, my name is Robert Farrer and you are tuned into Tea and Tara, my Tara show. It's a gloomy day at the end of January and so I'm cheering myself up with some Yudan tea here from Fortnum and Masons and some 90% chocolate from Rapunzel. Before we start, I just want to recommend a very nice channel I found the other day. It's called Ash La Estrella and it's um, a French speaking lady and um, she's really great. And what I really um, am excited about about this page is that apart from the fact that she's clearly um, a lovely personality is that she's made a couple of decks. She's made the Estrella Tarot and she's also made a thing called a Crush of Love Oracle. And um, the Estrella Tarot is, is really fantastic. I mean, it's got it's these lovely ice cream colours and it's it's very humorous. It's It incorporates people like Sean Connery and uh, Amy Winehouse. And so there's some, and yeah, I think, I think the, the, the magician is, is Michael Jackson. So it's, it's, it's quite humorous. Um, a lot of people of colour in it. And to cut a long story short, it's a Marseille tarot. So it's, it's, not, it's not something that I would use in my practice. If I had a spare, you know, 50 bucks, I would, I would send off for it tomorrow because it's so gorgeous. So if you're a Marseille reader, I would check out Ash La Estrella and check out her Estrella Tarot review where she reviews her own tarot and have a look at that. I'll put a link in below. Okay, what I'm getting from these cards is a rather emotional February. Queen of Cups, Star and Moon, they're all quite emotional archetypes, I think. And I think if we're looking at the Queen of Cups and we're wondering what it means if she's reversed, this is our issue card and these are suggestions and help cards from the universe. So reverse Queen of Cups, if you're feeling that happiness does not lie in your hands, as they say, if you have lost your feeling of being self-sufficient, being able to just be on your own and be enough and to believe and know that happiness is here in the here and now, if you're not feeling that in February, what are you going to need? I see, I see those two as together and, and this may be as a reward. The star and the moon. The star is always the point of hope in the tarot. And the star does two things for us. It, it says two things to us. It tells us not to lose hope but it also tells us to expand our horizons. Now, we're getting that in conjunction with the moon, and the moon is a card of, of loneliness, I think. The moon is a card of having to go through things on your own. So here we have the Queen of Cups, who is someone who can be on her own because she is so self-sufficient. She doesn't particularly need anybody else's input because she is a self-contained sort of happiness generator. Now, if we don't have that, then we're just on our own here. And I think there is a slight feeling of loneliness in February. But it, it is sort of also an aloneness with our, our, ourselves and our thoughts and our own issues, maybe our own demons. But really, we're on, we're on our own journeys. No one can live your life for you. So as you go through this month, and maybe feeling like you're a bit on your own. Don't give up hope and just try to try to be receptive to the new, be receptive to the other. And even if it's a difficult time, try not to be grumpy because grumpiness does cut one off from this feeling of broadening of the horizons. 
taking in new information and new inspiration. And the reward there is coming back to this very secure and comfortable um, archetype of the Nine of Pentacles, where not only does one have enough, but one has resources to create more wealth, this falcon here. I'm going to put down 12 cards to, to, see, to see which areas of our lives we should um, give special attention to in February. Okay, so we're doing my weather forecast spread here. We're only looking at upright aces and major arcana cards. So we're not even particularly reading the cards. We're just looking at where they are. And this looks like it's going to be a very simple weather forecast for February. We have an ace in the eighth. Okay, that's the eighth house. That, that's the scorpionic house. So that's quite, that's a bit existential, isn't it? We're being encouraged to look in the eighth house. Now, eighth house, for me, the way I use this spread is um, things that are, are leaving one's life. Um, things that, in a sense, are, are dying in one's life. But that is not necessarily a gothic. It's not necessarily doom and gloom. Um, it could be uh, bad things are, are dying in one's life. It could be, for example, you know, grumpiness could be dying. This month could be the death of your grumpiness. Um, that would certainly be good for me. But yes, what, what qualities are, are leaving? Um, it may be that people are leaving your life. It may be that situations are leaving your life. It may be that... Um, beliefs um, are leaving your life, um, try to look at it positively because this, after all, is the name of the game. Um, we're looking for guidance um, from the universe here. We're not looking for, for um, added anxieties. Okay, everybody, um, that was my reading for February 2023. I shall be back uh, next week. If anything occurred to you in that reading which which um, you, you find particularly interesting or which you'd like to ask me about, please feel free to say something in the comments below. And um, always very nice to hear from you. And I'll see you um, next week. Bye. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like to consider subscribing to my channel. It makes a difference. Thank you.